Well, what is up guys, it's Seven the JNSOM channel, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay on the new Dark Matter Greg Odin card from the Hyperdrive set. The Hyperdrive set is, um, a nice set. I genuinely like the, um, theme of it. It's like a retro game with, like, the squares being the Dark Matter colour, which is actually really, really nice. I'm assuming this will be our Tuesday content, uh, Wednesday content, Tuesday content, whatever, wherever you are, uh, for the rest of the, um, season. Um, and yeah, I can't complain. A lot of these cards are actually really good, and like, if you look badge-wise, um, 63 halves. I hopped into one game with this guy, dropped 14 with him, and shot 5 from 8, shooting 4 from 6 threes. So that was a good first game, and I'm like, damn, close the gameplay. So we have Greg Oden here, he's 7 feet tall, 273 pounds, meaning he will not be able to curry slide, which is disappointing, but, um, it is what it is. Um... Stats what he's got a perfect post game. What do you expect though from a card like Greg Odom? He does have post scoring takeover, which I mean a three point shoe I'm sure might change it or like a driving dunk shoe might change it for flashing. I don't know about that though, don't quote me on that. He has an eighty nine three pointer though, so it is quite low. Um I'm a bit disappointed with that. Um like a lot of the centers we're getting are having like higher threes, eighty nine, but like you should be able to green consistently. Um, we have a 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, an 86 ball handle, which won't matter too much because he won't be able to curry slide, which is annoying. Um, defense is brilliant, 97 block, 90 steal, 93 perimeter defense, 98 interior defense, 98 for both rebounding, 94 speed, 91 speed of ball, 94 acceleration. So we are looking at like a very, very good card. I think he's got like a couple stats under like 90 and one's three point free throw ball handle, which doesn't matter because it's about an 86 pass accuracy, I mean. I don't think I'd be running up the court with Greg Oden. Um, tendencies wise, he has a 95 driving dunk, 95 flashy, 100 standing dunk, so he will go up with them. And then defensively, he has an eight, a 96 pass interception, 90 on ball steal, 98 contest, 98 block, and a 5 foul tendency. Now, going on to the badges, he has 63 Hall of Fame, so 7 golds, meaning he's got 70 out of the 75 total badges on next gen, meaning he's practically an invincible card. I'll just scroll through these badges. I mean, they're pretty straightforward. He doesn't have blinders, but he's got, like, every other thing that's important. I will check his gold badges and the badges he don't doesn't have, so. And I'll tell you if I recommend putting me up to Hoff if you can, or just applying it in general. But I will tell you, this Greg Oden does look really nice. Um... I'm not expecting him to have gold. He does have gold handles for days, which is really interesting because invincibles like D-Rob and that don't have it at all. But yeah, uh, he's got gold handles for days, gold needle forever, gold stop and go, gold tight hand. So a lot of the playmaking ones um, and the badges he doesn't have, ankle breakers, blinders, special delivery, slippery off ball and floor general. Um, I wouldn't put blinders on him unless you like love, love this card after using him. But yeah, let's hop into a shoot around, test out his jump shot, um, see where his hot zones are. Okay, so he's got hot zones everywhere except for, like, top of the free and the left wing. The jump shot's nice. Um, as I said, I played a game with him while I was doing green. It's like a guard base with a center upper, which makes it look really awkward. But, like, the base genuinely feels really nice. Um, I'm sure if he had a higher three-pointer, like, the greens would be more consistent, like, bigger green window. But, yeah, from hot zones, he should be better. Normally, I think he'll be standing right corner if you run a five out. Oh god, that's two greens in a row. Um, but yeah, let's check his, as I said. Oh, I got two curries out of him then. But like, he won't be able to consistently curry. Oh, we did curry, uh, dribble into a shot. Okay, so maybe he won't be the worst dribbler. Going to the ring? Ah, oh, that was a nice dunk. I think they've given him... He's got showtime, so obviously he'll have showtime dunks. Yeah, they're nice dunks. They're good dunk packages. Catch and shoot. Catch and shoot. Catch and shoot. Ah, right, there we go. I'll check another one of those donkey packages. Don't let the ball go. Not handy. Oh, well, one. There you go, Joel. There's your screenshot. And lastly, we'll try out his um, circus freeze because I know he has it. That's nice. Oh, there we go, green one. And we'll green a standing free. Come on, don't tell me it's going to take... Uh, it took me two shots to green a moving circus free. Come on. Uh, green already letting me down here. 
talk so good about him. All right, there we go. Now let's hop into a game of Triple Threat Online and see if we can win a game. All right, multiplayer, Triple Threat Online, continue. Uh, we'll use the bottom right green Odin, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, let's load into a game. Hope we can get matched up against a somewhat decent opponent and one we can win. Uh, taking a bit to get in a game, normally it takes a couple seconds. I have matched into a game against what looks to be. Charles. Um, Charles is an Australian Twitch streamer, I'll make sure to check him out, but he's going to be, I'm going to be letting him shoot with Nick Anderson, but I will try to get as much as a Greg Oden gameplay I can out of this game for you. Um, as you saw though, though, my first shot with Greg Oden, we did manage to green, so go us. Um, he's not gonna. I want him to play like somewhat defense. Greg goes into the ring, gets blocked by Invincible Howard. That's an interesting dunk. Oh, I'm gonna chuck it right turnover. Ah, oh, there we go. Greg Oden with the rebound. Dribbles in all his shots. We don't green, but we don't make. Unlucky. He goes and greens with. Ah, uh, what's his name? Oh, there we go. Another green great, great going on. I'm telling you, this jump shot's actually really nice. It reminds me of a guard jump shot, I think I said. But yeah, it, 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 it's genuinely not a bad jump shot for, like, the price of the card, like, 20k. Can you really go wrong? Again, a bit deep. We don't green that. We don't white it either. He doesn't white freeze. That's what I've noticed from games. He goes and wipes a free with his Nick Anderson. His Nick Anderson has takeover. Um, there we go, Greg Oden again. Wide open free. Green. Okay, so when he is left wide open, I, I guarantee you he will green 95% of the time. He will green 95% of the time if you're like used to the jump shot. I don't know what base it is. Joel, I think, might have reviewed these cards. So I think in, if you watch his video, you'll find out what base he is. Cool. Wide open mid range, Greg Oden, green. So, yeah, the catch and shoot jump shot is consistent. It's, it's, it's very consistent. Um, I, I do highly rate this card. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I do highly rate this card. I genuinely think, like, if I didn't have, like, the centers I'd have, I would consider a Greg Oden. I, I just don't like the fact that he doesn't hit any whites. There he goes, let's try taking it to the ring with him. Although, Charles is going to leave me wide open. Goes to the ring, nice little dunk, and we have post-scoring take with Greg Oden. Charles will go in the game here, though. GG's, Charles. Um, you're welcome for doing your challenges. Uh, if you're watching, make sure you go. Um, check out Charles on Twitch, he's a very good guy. Nice Australian Twitch streamer. But, you know, as I said, I like the Greg Oden. This has only been eight minutes so far. Let's hop into another game. Let's hop into another game. Hopefully we don't get... But yeah, hopefully we can... Let's get into another game and... Let's win. Uh, Owen and O. Oh. Got your same lineup. Uh, hopefully we don't get matched up against Charles. Like as much as I love Charles. Um, Steph Curry, Galaxy Opal, Galaxy Opal Giannis, and Galaxy Opal DeAndre. Ah, uh, Dark Rider DeAndre Ayton. Okay, we we are not match up against with Charles, so we will be in a competitive game. This game playing defense. If this guy wants to pass the ball in, please don't tell me he's okay. Okay, there we go. He's moving. Uh, he's dribbling the ball up with Steph Curry. I reach 
Oh, I don't know why my players both went under. And he wiped a free to start off the game. Unlucky. Uh, who's Greg Odin's matchup with DeAndre Aiden? I, I genuinely think they're going to be really similar cards. Good pass on the inside. The thing is, it's a center, and as much as I'd love to like use him every possession in the game, you saw like what he can do offensively. So I will be passing a lot more with him. No way. I will be passing a lot more of him. If I get wide open, obviously I'll shoot it. But you guys saw what like Greg Oden did last game when left wide open. Hmm. I, I don't know. I, I said he's got nice dunk packages and that, but like going to the ring, I don't know, he like stutters. He like slows down. And he's not as fast as he is like walking around the court, getting to the rim. Like here, he's just got clamped up by Steph Curry. I mean, it goes in, but like you, you've, you've got a big body, Greg. Like, you can't curry side, man. You've got a big body. You've got to, like, take advantage of that. All right, Greg Oden on curry. Let's see if he can do anything. Oh, block. Nice, Greg. Oh, I thought we had a steal there, too, but we found Greg Oden. But, yeah, that was a nice block. Um, Showing off here that he has a really good reach. I don't know how long his wingspan is. I'm assuming it's just around seven foot-ish. Don't let him shoot with his curry. So don't let him shoot with his curry. And he grabs the rebound and puts it back up with Giannis. I don't know why my players are, like, helping there, but that's fine. All right, Greg Oden, slow, slow it down. All right, there we go. To the ring. Behind the back dunk. Let's go, Greg. He's nearly at takeover already. He's got the ball in Giannis' hand. I'm just going to off. Come on, that's good defense. Good. Greg Oden grabs the rebound. Loses the ball ASAP. Ugh, great. But luckily I activated my takeover before we are down 6-9. to nine. Oh, funny. But come on, Greg. Alright, let's get a post vote. Oh my god, he got shit trying to go in the post. Come on, Greg. You're better than that. As we get dunked on by Giannis. Fact. Um, Jesus. Come on, Greg. You're better than this. Alright, to the ring. Nice little dunk up there by Greg Oden. We're down 8 to 11. Hopefully, we can turn this around. Greg's got some couple turnovers and stupid shot attempts. I'll give us that steal. To Greg Oden. Second, I'd feel to pull a shot with Greg Oden. Greg Oden wide open from free. Green, let's go, Greg. As I do said before, I genuinely reckon he's a nice center, but I, I don't know. I feel like he's attacking the ring, feels really like interesting. It doesn't feel right. And there we go, clamps. It doesn't feel right. Attack, he's attacking to the ring. But other than that, I genuinely reckon he's a good card. Wide open green. It's only a two, though. We just stepped inside. But that is another green by Greg Oden. Greg Oden is on a roll right now. He's got 11 points for us. Oh, as he put up a shot, we fouled. That's my bad. I shouldn't have stole there. I didn't expect him to actually go for that shot. But, like, stuff happens. All right, just clamp up wrong. He's going to try to blow by. Like, I'll let, I'll let you shoot a three-pointer with Giannis. I'll let you shoot a three-pointer with Giannis. He doesn't want to shoot a three-pointer with Giannis. No, he doesn't want to. Oh, yes, he does. He whites. It's not in. Perfect. Greg Oden dribbling up the court. Wide open Luca. Wide open Oden. Oden for free. Green, let's go, Greg! Oh, my God. Greg is on a roll right now. Giannis gets wiped uh, past... Our defense and we are still up three however it is a one possession ball game come on we'll go for a post fade if i can get in post position that is we don't green ah we don't make either it's probably a risky thing to do when we're only up three i read that good that's our ball intimidated there on greg odin stopped curry from going for the alley-oop as crazy as it sounds all right let's go this guy has no answers for my Greg Oden. Greg Oden to the ring. Woo! Nice little dunk there. Greg Oden has 16. He is on fire. Oh, good steal, Bron. To Greg Oden from half court for game? Maybe? No. We didn't green. Um, bold attempt, I will say it myself. He will, shoots for... He, no, he wants a free... This guy is getting bailed right now. But, I mean, what can we do about it? I don't know how deep he's going to pick up. Like, I want to go for a deep three with Odin for game. Oh, that is a nice move by Greg Odin. Green for game. Holy crap. Maybe. Gee. Could Greg Odin be a top center in the game? Wow. 
like in that first game against Charles, I was like, damn, this card's good, but like that game then. Holy. We're going to the box score. Greg Oden, 19 points, 8 11 from the field goal. He shot 3 from 4 from 3. They were all greens plus I shot a half court shot that didn't go in. He also created a mid range. He did have two turnovers, but he had a block, which was nice. He also had an assist and three rebounds. I genuinely reckon this Greg Oden's a really good card in the game, guys. I do reckon, like, if you're looking for, like, a center for, like, 20, 30, 40, even 100k, I, d I definitely reckon mend this Greg Oden. If you, like, saw what I was doing then, um, yeah, I. It genuinely left me speechless. I didn't expect to play that good with Greg Oden. I don't think anyone expects to play that good with Greg Oden. But, yeah, I genuinely reckon for the price this card's going for, he is a W pickup if you're a to play it. Must pick up. Like, I cannot stress this enough. If you need a center, as I said, he's going to the basket feels a bit odd. You can't curry side, which might put some people off him, but, like, this card is good. This card is good. But if you see, like, in my God squad, he's not making it over to Wiseman, Bradley, Bill Russell, Griffin. Soon it's gonna, soon I'm going to have Taco, and it's going to be... Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but Taco will be there soon, because if you can see, one game left. I mean, it's a hard one, but I'll eventually get it done. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for more weekly videos.